Dear 48, 12.07 p.m. The group is about to be tested on their weekly task, transporting a drum kit through an obstacle course against the clock. Oh, it's a lovely sunny day. After failing their last task, they only had £24.50 to spend on this week's shopping. The group has gambled 36.4% of next week's food budget on successfully completing this task. I really need a wee, guys. No, you can't. Yeah. Shut up! Go! Go ahead, the wee whistle. They have to complete the course in 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Every mistake they make incurs a 15 second time penalty. We're done. We're done. Go! Go! Elizabeth! Each part of the drum kit and each housemate must go through a different hole in the web without Clear. touching it. Watch it, carry it, carry it, carry it. Carry it, carry it, carry it. Here, no! One. Here, this one. This one. Do it! One, jump. jump. Right, Mine. head down, <laughs> Helen. No! She, no, she never touched, she's okay. Keep her head, got her. Point your toes, Helen. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Helen, grab something. Both Dean and Helen have touched the ribbon, costing the group two 15 second penalties. Second. Symbols, yeah? All the symbols. All the symbols, okay. Okay. Oh. Look out, H. Good going through, going through. through. Everyone mind the. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Go. Go. I've taught you, put it down. Good, Mike, back. Yeah. Got it. Oh, oh, right. Dropping the drum on the toxic swamp. Cost the group another 15 second penalty. You've got that, yeah? Clear it, go in the middle, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. no, that's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good, back. Well, remember what we've got, just, this, just. got this, yeah. Wait till they cross the line. Remember, everything's got to be in the other place. Everything's got to be in the other place. Go! Why the swamp? Oh, oh, shit. You're fine. It's over here yeah, now. It's all right. It's OK. Just tuck everyone Do not thank you, yeah. Nice and easy now. Big one. Nice yeah. Big. Got it. Yeah. Little one. Nice as ever been. Let's try the slow bit. Have you sight? Lift. Go. Down. down. Down, it's down. Well, that's going to work. Clear. Clear. The drum kit must be reassembled and each drum and cymbal sounded to signal the end of the task. Yeah! Yay! They have completed the task in 6 minutes 46 seconds. Big Brother will reveal later today whether the time penalties they have incurred mean they have failed the task. <laughs> 1 p.m. Yeah. Big Brother calls Dean to the diary room. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things done. I don't know what to do tonight. Hello, Dean. Hello. What did you think of the task? I thought the task was, um, good. I thought it was a really good one. And I think everyone worked really, really well together. I think everyone feels good about themselves. Maybe, it's, maybe you can tell this morning everyone's got a little bit more spring in their step, I think. Paul's made cheese on toast for himself, with leftovers from the cheese tasting task that Big Brother set five days ago. Fair that's enough. not me. That's not me. God, that's I cheese. I know it's not me. I don't have so many feet. No, it's the cheese. Is it that cheese? Yeah. It's, it's cheese. cheese. That's evil. That, that's Paul, that's you're eating it again! Oh, he's rubbing Smell it in my that. face. Smell it. Oh, it looks delicious. That's so wrong. Oh! Oh, oh. no! Oh. That is hideous. Oh, no! Oh, God. Fucking hell, that's so real! Smell it here! Oh, uh, smell it I'm... there? Go into the kitchen where it was. Dude, you can't do that again, you Elizabeth, Elizabeth! I don't even believe it! Ah! Tastes amazing, we'll find some. Is that the Irish that's cheese? Is it worth it? That's oh, it like is. a farmyard! Do you not feel like going. Yeah! Nice. Get in there and smell it. Does it taste Get in. Oh, my God! Come on. Okay, guys, in the future. The Southern Island cheese must never be cooked. Yes. Because I do admit it stinks Thank you. shit. 2.38 p.m. Big Brother calls the group to the lounge area to reveal the results of the weekly task. 
This is Big Brother. Come on. The result of the task is as follows. So do I. Housemates completed the course in a time of six minutes and 46 seconds. That's what I said, wasn't it, exactly? Bet. However, in addition, housemates incurred five 15 second penalties, oh, no. making a time of eight minutes and one second. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Five. Whatever. You have therefore successfully completed this week's pair and have £57.29 to spend on next week's shopping. Skate faster! Woo! Yeah. After failing last week's task, food supplies are running low in the house, so Big Brother gives the housemates an evening treat. Big Brother would like to offer your you dinner to share with a housemate of your choice. Oh. You must organise yourself into three pairs. And oh my God! Wow. How am I going to win? Shut up! You Big Brother will provide you with three sets of tables, chairs, oh, tablecloths, candles, cutlery, and six bottles of wine and water. Person. I'm the, you and Dean of. Oh, yeah, you and Dean of. Obviously. I'm Josh. Obviously. We're going to win when I go to the podcast. Okay. Nice. So, who wants to be in the girls' bed? The group decides the three pairs will be Helen and Paul, Elizabeth and Dean, and Josh and Brian. Oh my <laughs> god, it's going to happen tonight. It's going to be shagging tonight. 3 42 pm. Big Brother calls Josh to the diary room. Yesterday, particularly. Uh, I was dwelling, I think, probably a bit too much on who probably nominated me and how many people put me forward and the different combinations of the votes. So I think that yesterday, up to about six o'clock, my head was spinning with that and thinking about that. And then I was like, hey, it's out of my hands now. It's the public are voting. So I've just got to get on with the week, enjoy it while I'm here and get the most out of it and see if I'm still here on Saturday morning. What are your thoughts about the meal tonight? Having dinner with Brian? Mmm, that's going to be very interesting. I'm sure it'll be funny, it'll be a laugh, and uh, it'll be um, thought-provoking in a different way. So we don't, we, we honestly, we're two totally different characters, even though we're both gay, and that's why I think people out there might not understand. We are both gay, but just like two heterosexual people can be totally different, we are completely different, and we don't always see eye to eye. Do I need to wash my hair? I've gone out with Paul Clark tonight. What are ground rules for this evening? Do we have no to... ground rules. There are, there are no ground rules. <laughs> <laughs> you just see what happens. Just go with the flow. You just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. mm, sounds what good. Are you going to wear this, but... A woman with no rules. <laughs> have you got any morals? Uh, I only go by the big brother rules. The big chance of romance here would be with you two, or me and Josh, not with those two. No, not with them two. No. So where do you... Not with oh. us two either, because we know the deal. She's in love, mate. Of course she is. And if you ask her to marry him, she will. Would you? She will. Mm. That doesn't mean I don't like Paul. Of course it doesn't. I've still got a chance, Paul. Yeah. I'm just get in there, Paul. This is all over. You can make each other so happy. Could you imagine a big brother wedding? I could imagine. The thing is, I could imagine them two together. That's funny. I know it's stupid. But it's so good. <laughs> You want to get me drunk, Josh? Why? But I can see your face in the mirror. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm laughing. Seven ten p.m. The group is getting ready for dinner. Brian, Hannah wants you to see the hair. Oh, I was gonna st <sighs> The groups decided that Helen and Paul will eat in the den 
Josh and Brian in the girls' room, and Elizabeth and Dean in the conservatory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the ambiance is just... This is Big Brother. Is Paul ready? Dinner is served in the storeroom. Yay! Yeah. Could you please leave our restaurant, please? Oh. Mm, wow. Excuse me, what are you doing in the restaurant? Mm. Are, you, are you the waitress? Speaking. The group settled down to a first course of roast tomato tart or smoked salmon. Which fork do I use? God, I feel like him in Titanic. Wow. Work from the outside in, work from the outside in, work from the outside in, work from the outside in. Is it Brian? Hi, Sorry Josh. Sorry I'm late, Brian. You're running behind. Hi, hi, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. You too. How are you? I'm OK. This smell. They, they served already? Yes, you're very late. I was slightly embarrassed sitting here on my own. I thought, I'm very sorry. I got caught up. It's a long story, but quite, quite a long story short. Smell it. Oh, beautiful rocket. Yeah, my favourite. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So how did you get it? Did your friends drop you off? No, I got a cab. Got a cab? I just live nearby. Did you, did you just come far? Mm-hmm. Only about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Cool. Probably share a cab home then, because I'm about the same distance. No, actually, I've already organised a cab to pick me up and take me back. Oh, that's fine. Can you drop me off on the way? Uh, I'm so... Oh, we'll see what happens. Oh, God. Chancing his arm. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice. Mmm. Should I say something? When you're pouring wine, you should always leave an inch. Should you? Top, right. So you can smell it. Because if it's a nice wine, you can get all the air, and it you can smell and it, smells. you can move it around, whereas that, you kind of mm. get like a soup dish. Cheers. To Vanessa and Steve. Yeah. Cheers. Wish they could be here. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Right, cheers, you. Is that my hairstyle, I don't feel? Yeah, I think they're gorgeous. Especially for your nice sisters. Drink up anyway. I'm really gutted that that is all the booze we've got. I just think we could sleep in here, can we? What, just you and me? Mm -hmm. It's a really bad idea. Why? Really bad idea. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> OK, and you, you say to them in the morning, if we sleep in here, me and you, there's loads of room. Because I thought, well, we might as well make a night of it in the den, mightn't we? We could sleep in here. I don't mind sleeping in here. It's a bit grubby. And if we sleep in here tonight, I get to experience your sleep talking all night. You certainly do, yeah. You talking about but what, happen, what happens though if I fall asleep mm. and I sort of go, I go, I go. Oh, shit. And my arm just flops over the top of you. Is that really bad? Dean has his arm over me, so don't worry about it. Yeah, but it's me we're talking about. It's not Dean. We'll just have loads of blankets over. No, Ben. <laughs> I mean, I know, I don't know what other people think about sex and things like that. I don't know what people in here would think about it, but for me, it's just a, it's a kind of a deepened and heightened form of communication with somebody. Absolutely, yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah. It's that you come to know someone so well. Mm. It's Except so funny when... the problem with that is, isn't it, when you, cause you can meet someone, have sex with them, and it would be really fantastic. No, and but it's got to be sustained, doesn't it? You've yeah, got but... To, it's mm, got to be more... It can be... I don't know. It's, it's see, a confusing I'm not one because like on, on a, I'm not like that. I, I, I've got to know. I've got to know someone. When you say for know it to be someone, any good. no. When you say know someone for me, I can. I can. That can work on a really kind of animal level, on a really quite quite base level. Maybe that's quite male then. Maybe it is. Brian and Josh are just finishing their desserts of chocolate pot and summer fruit pudding. Don't even go there at my wine. I'm ready to fill you up. <laughs> and a given chance, I presume. <laughs> drink quicker than that. You want to get me drunk, Josh? Why? Of course I want to get you drunk. You want me to make a fool of myself no, on TV? I don't really feel so. I want you to be you, the real you. No pretenses, no upper class. Say what you feel. Go with, go with it. What? Why? Why are you doing that? Why do you do that? Just looking how good your skin is. Uh-huh. It's good. Mm, it's fantastic. Do you really? No, it's fantastic. That's sweet. No, it's not sweet, it's honest. Thank you. It's very good. You just need to sweat your back. 
What do you, what do you find difficult, Josh? For you to give a compliment. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you can't give a compliment, that's fine. I can easily give you a compliment. You can borrow my I clothes. I could easily give you a compliment if I wanted to. But you don't, even though you like my clothes. I said you had nice eyes, and I meant that. I think you do have nice eyes. But you only noticed that when I had my head shaved. I, I really do think you're a really, really, really nice and sweet guy. I really do. Uh, why are you shutting your eyes on every single sentence on that one? Because I do, honestly. No, honestly, I do. I think you're really sweet. So you give me a blowjob? I think you're a really <laughs> sweet guy. I think you're... I think you're a really sweet guy. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. I think you're a really nice guy. I do. I don't dislike you. Have some wine. Let's share our wine. Let's be together. Josh, we are together. <laughs> Cheers. But the night is young. Anyway, so. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? No. Oh, I'm going to go. Can't be fun then. Right. So anyway, you got these these thingies, and so mm -hmm. I feel I feel the dishwasher up. Full of plates, whatever. Da, da, da. Put powder in all four cute containers. Yeah, done it up. Don't need strawberries. Do you want it? That's enough for Tizak as well. Do you want another one? Nice, no, that one. Is it really? So I done all four cubicles up, right? And I slammed the door. Went and sat down in the lounge. All I four. All four. Do you know what? I feel really sorry for you being on your own in the thing. I know. It's because I didn't find anyone I really. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. excuse me. So, in case you missed the last excuse bit. Excuse me, I was all on my own on a Saturday night. Did I finish my story? Oh. No, can I finish my story so it looks okay. like you come and hug me? Oh, what? So it doesn't look like it's just one yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Paul, I can see your face in the mirror. You know, like, <laughs> I'm laughing at you. Okay. Okay. And again, I was all on my own. <laughs> is that a bad move? No, it's all right, it's fine. All oh, right, okay, okay, cool. Right, so, okay, we'll should we forget about the all on our own bit? Okay, yeah. Because that's just getting totally out of hand. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> yeah, you was all on your own. Down, boy. They still want to. I know, I, I know deep down she so does, I know he does, but they're both letting on one because he's afraid because she's got a boyfriend. He's afraid of shit like that, and she knows she's got a boyfriend. Mm, it, 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 is, it is very like that, isn't it? There is something More wine. in between. Leave a bottle there? of wine. Brandy. Say it to the door. A bottle of brandy. A bottle of brandy. Oh, God, as if. I'm in here, steward. I can give you free flights. <laughs> Anywhere you want to go. Can you hear me? 50 quid. Can you hear? 50, I think I see feet. 50 quid for a bottle of wine. There's no feet? I can't see their feet. 50, 50 quid. I see feet. you 50 pounds. For a bottle of wine. I see feet. They're runners, they're runners. 50 quid bottle of wine. But they're walking. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, she Stop. looks pretty. Oh, she's closing the door. No. <laughs> Why are you doing this to us? We've done nothing to you. You little bitch. <laughs> 10.54 p.m. Paul and Helen are still in the den. The way I want to treat it, I've, I've always been sensible when you need to be sensible, and I've always been not sensible when you don't need to be sensible. You be I suppose, sensible? Never. I suppose I've lived, I've, I've lived my life, I've lived my adult life like um, what I would consider an international pop star. Do you know what I mean by that? I've what always had fun. What do you think I'm a posh bird if I go on like this? Huh? What's that? I think I'm a posh bird then if I went like this. A posh bird. That was really quick. Now she was like, uh, putting on lip gloss. Lucky date. <laughs> Lucky? Absolutely. Week seven, Elizabeth. Oh, don't even talk to me. We're taking some more of his stuff. It'll be week eight next week, and Dean. How long to? You I will need it badly. Nearly every day, I'm like, oh, I'd love to, but I just don't. I had, no, I had to have another Tommy Tank last night. Yeah. That's Tommy that, Tank. Oh, that, okay. That's three in two days. Wow. I'm like going mad. 
Yeah. So how are you doing it? You different. Brian! No, 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 guys, just please. think about it. I have. Look Listen, at it pretend in my to be face. asleep. Get yes, your head eyes closed. Make a little Covers. cave in yes. your bed already so you can't see movements, you can't see the duvet going up but and down. But what position is that? Have a towel there Several. or something yeah. there Several. to catch it and then go for it. How do you shoot? How do you shoot that? And shoot I'm them. a man! So it's the first date, how do you think it's gone? It's the first date, how's it gone? As soon as you're not my cup of tea, it's gone quite well, considering. Okay. Totally, so will we go out on a second date then? Mm, that's up to you to bring me in now. That's cool. I like that. That was different from what you said before. Up to you, Mr. Clark. Right. Getting fed up with sitting on this chair, to be honest. Okay, let's go. Does that sound good? I'm gonna have a word with Brian. Wow. We'll Maybe go in. Say in. Just a little bit. <sighs> oh, we're all at the same point. It's kind of cold. Keep doing that holding hands thing. This is not cool. <laughs> 1 11 a.m. The housemates have finished the wine provided by Big Brother and are now drinking some of the cider they bought last week. That's my favourite track. Yeah, it's, it's the best. Ever, ever, ever. ever. Yeah, it's not ever, but me and Paul have just realised every single week since we've been in this house, either me and Paul have been nominated. You haven't been nominated. We have. I have. Yeah. Every single week since no. we came in here, either me or Helen have been up for a nomination. No, Helen hasn't. Yeah. yeah. Helen was between. up the first week. Between. I was up the second, oh, third, between. fourth, okay. fifth, and she's up the sixth. Silence! Okay. No, 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 no. I like to kill you. The one on a stormy sea. Even seat. though I can't, because you're in the I big feel, brother house. I feel I'd attacked. like to shag you. <laughs> even though I can't. Even though I'm locking bow. <laughs> And I know I can't get a hard on. There's a spoon on the floor, Brian. Sit on! 2.38 a.m. Dean, Elizabeth and Josh are still up. Brian, Paul and Helen are in the boys' bedroom. Helen, is, are you and Midge's relationship really serious? Or what's going on? Or is it kind of... I want to know... Not for anything to do anything else, I'm just it's curious. It's a very sort of on and off relationship. Oh, I didn't know that. I've had to deal with him and him and girls that he work with, him being friends and they going out for the night, do you know what I mean? Exactly. So, I mean, I don't know what his problem is, basically. I just think that, you know, if you and Big G, you've got like something really, really special. If. If you and Big G got something really, really special, then, you know, I. I don't want to see that being jeopardised by us getting a bit pissed and spending seven weeks in it when we haven't been out in the open. Only you can determine your relationship with Big G. If your relationship with Big G is paramount to you and you know it's your main priority in here, then Paul maybe should back off and should go look at Helen. Well, mm, let's, I don't think Paul should back off. Well then, that's between. Do you know what I mean? That's up for you to decide. Who goes, you decide. To evict Helen, call 09011544406. To evict Josh, call 09011544412. You may want to take notes at Sex School next on for handy hints in every sense of the word in a new series, Sex Tips for Girls. Big Brother's back tomorrow at 8.30 and 10.30 and there's more of tonight's dinner party in Big Brother Reveals More on Saturday at 9.